This is a video tutorial on two-factor verification. Two-factor verification is a process that adds an extra layer of security to a user's online accounts. It is available for use for accounts such as personal emails, PayPal, and data saving sites. It goes beyond a password and sends a separate code or PIN to your cell phone. First, an example of a situation where two-factor verification is helpful. You can use this extra security process for both new accounts and existing accounts. Two-factor verification is usually managed on the security options section of your account. During the setup process, you receive a short-term code on your cell phone. This code is only used once and will make it harder for a hacker to enter your account because they would need access to both your computer and your phone. These are the two main factors in this process. It is essential to have your cellular device with you when you begin this process. This tutorial will feature how to go about the process for Google, Yahoo, and Facebook accounts. Here is the two-factor verification process for Google. Once you enter Google's homepage for two-step verification, select Start Setup. Afterwards, log into your Google account. Enter your cell phone number and click Send Code. After this, the site will send a six-digit code to your cell phone. Enter it into the box that appears onto the screen and click Verify. The next screen will ask you if you are on a safe, personal computer. If so, click Next. If not, remove the check from the Trust This Computer box, then select Next. Confirm when you reach the final screen. Another screen stating that you disconnected your devices will appear. Click Reconnect My Apps. Google will make a new password appear on the screen. Do not write this password down. Here is the two-factor verification process for Yahoo. Once you enter Yahoo's homepage for two-step verification, select Get Started. The next screen will ask you to enter a phone number. If you already have this phone number registered with Yahoo, select that you would like to use that one. If you would like to enter a new one, select Add New Phone and enter that number. After this, your phone will receive a six-digit code in which you will enter the box labeled Enter Code. When you are done, select OK. A new screen will appear that tells you that you will need a new password. Select Generate Password. You will be asked how, in the future, you would like to confirm that it is you. Once you make your decision, select Submit. Another screen will appear asking you what the name of your phone's email app is. This could be among many. Gmail and iPhone Mail are some examples. After you type in your provider, click Generate Password. When you are given this password, replace it as your password for Yahoo Mail, your phone's Yahoo Mail app password. After selecting Done, this process is complete. Here is the two-factor verification process for Facebook. On Facebook, this process is known as Login Approvals. Locate the triangle in the far right of your Facebook homepage and select Settings. In order to continue, make sure your mobile phone number is already entered into your account. On the far right, select the Security option. Click the category labeled Login Approvals. Check the box that asks to require a security code when entering an account from unknown browsers. Then select Get Started. Then select Continue. You will be asked to enter your password before the process begins. Once you do, enter your phone number and select Continue. Your phone will receive a confirmation code which is to be entered into the blank box. Once you enter and confirm, the process will be complete. Anytime you enter your account from an unknown browser, the code that was sent to your phone will be necessary to continue. This process is available for other account sites such as iCloud, Twitter, Dropbox, LinkedIn, Evernote, PayPal, Steam, and Microsoft.